and what's going on? It's your boy Joe Fontaine, and I'm gonna keep it kind of brief. And basically, what a subscriber was hitting me with was they were on the Nexus 2, and they were getting confused how to bring their library in. I really don't understand how you got confused on that, man. But this tab right here that says Library, yo, that's just basically where your sounds are. It arranges them by category. You also can do them by presets. Okay, down here where it says System, this is the this is the icon you want to be on. All this right here, when you move this up and down right here, that's going to be your imported library, your content library folder from that ROM folder inside your hard drive. That's where you're going to get it from. This icon right here is where you get your skins from. Okay. And right here where it says import data, that's where you're going to get um, your content from. You have a little uh, icon right here. This adjusts this. See that? The resolution. So if you want to get your screen a lot clearer, that's how you do that. Again, like I said, I'm not going to run too long on this. Um, you know, Nexus has a lot of features, man. Like, just like too much to go into, man. It's just like too big, like the spread. You can like pan the sounds and then like the frequencies. If you're playing a frequency, for example, over here is where you can actually analyze the frequency. You can zoom in, and zoom in and out on that, like this. Um, I mean, man, you name it. I mean, anything you do in here. I mean, it's pretty much easy. You just walk through it. You make adjustments. You know, you can adjust ARPS, right click on this, bring it back, you know. Uh, yeah, man, it's like you can custom tune anything in here to get a custom sound. And like I said, I'm trying to keep this brief as possible, man, because I got stuff to do. But at the same time, I got another email. Like right here, I got Nexus on this pad right here. In my last tutorial, I was showing you guys how to pad link your sounds using the, the, link, the link group feature. And uh, my homeboy, he was getting confused on it. He's like, yo, man, I keep hitting it and it's not doing it. So, um... right here where it says sound MIDI settings remember when I was saying you have to adjust your sound and MIDI settings to be on the same channel so if you hit sound and MIDI settings you see right here this is on channel one all right so in hypersonic well in this particular situation anyway where it says sound and MIDI have that on channel one as long as you have them on the same channel they're both gonna play at the same time so that should clear up any confusion so let me um, put this mic down for a second, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Like, I'll lower the, the volume on the Nexus one first, then I'll bring it back in. Check it out. So you see how the hypersonic is playing like that. Okay, but that's only on one channel. So if I go back over here to the Nexus and I'll raise the volume back up on this, just want to show you just want to show you that's playing independently. I'll bring this one up a little bit. And let me put my mic back down a minute. Sorry if I'm playing so sloppy guys. You know I'm doing this so quick, man. So you see right there, they're both playing at the same time. So hopefully that should clear some things up for you. And you can go in here, you know what I'm saying, and get busy. And then what you do is you go down here and you save as, and you tag it up. And you have an instant, um, you know, monster send sound like that. So that should clear up any confusion on that. Um, hopefully it should anyway. Because look, if I lower the volume down on this again, See what I'm saying? Like I said, y'all got to excuse my, my sloppy playing, man, because I'm just doing the joint right quick. But I bring the volume back up on here, and you're going to see they both playing. See what I'm saying? They both went at the same time. You know what I mean? So back to the Nexus, you could just go ahead and go in here and, um, like, if you're going to switch a sound, like, um, all your sounds are going to be here using this little ABC tab right here. You know, and then you just go through it 
And when you select the sound, you see it load up down here. Like that. See how that little, that bar has to load up like that. Check it out. I go back. Let's see. Uh, maybe like this one. Right here. You know, you know if you're doing it right, cause this little this little MIDI icon up here light up. All right, so that's pretty much it, man. It's your boy Joe Fontaine of Joe Fontaine Music. See you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>